What's up, y'all? It's a friendly neighborhood commentator, Dread Silver, and I know I said I, was, I did a Bobcats Association. I know you most of y'all seen that, but this is gonna be my official official association for my channel, my Houston Rockets Association, and it's something I've wanted to do for a while, as y'all know. I'm from Houston, Texas, and I got to do it. And the reason I picked the Rockets, you know, look at all this cap room they have. They have a whole bunch of players. I believe it's like 15 players or 14 players on their team that I can use the trade with. Um, you see me use every, make everything norm right there. I usually um, turn prospect scouting on just so I don't have to deal with, you know, start sending my scouts out like every two or three days. But this is just a team near and dear to me. That's the main reason I picked the Rockets. But they got a lot of things to work with, even though they're kind of weak this year. I wish I... um picked it up right after the James Harden trade. That would have been a little interesting, but a little bit harder with um, trading away Jeremy Lamb and Kevin Martin, but I want to accomplish a lot of stuff with this team. I want to be able to put together some of these players from when Rock the Rockets were good, like from the Trevor, Trevor Ariza a couple years, for the, from the, the Ter when Terrence Williams was on the team, when, <laughs> when Aaron Brooks was on the team. I want to put together some of these players that I like from past who are past Rockets and see if I can get a championship in the first or second year with it you know so at this point the players I want to keep for sure Kevin Martin you know the best player in the Rockets right now uh, one of the best three-point shooters in the league has, has led the lead in three-point shooting field goal percentage a couple years Jeremy Lin you know our new um I guess our new savior as a lot of my friends like to uh, call him coming to the Houston Rockets hopefully can you know lead the team to victory I saw him in a couple preseason games and went crazy and Jeremy Lamb I feel like he could break out I was kind of disappointed he got traded in that James Harden trade but I mean at least we got James Harden you know but Jeremy Lamb could be a breakout rookie this year he seems like he has a lot of talent has a three-point shot can drive in the lane great player and right off the bat I'm trying to keep Mark uh, Marcus Morris and Terrence Jones off my team like not that I have anything against Terrence Jones and I feel like he could probably do great things but I don't know for sure and I can utilize these players their potential to get some other players with better um, ratings that I can probably trade for better players to be honest and what I've realized playing um, this association mode for a while the most important things that this uh, computer is looking for when they're trying to make trades with you which is much harder this year just in case y'all haven't noticed to make these trades but the most important things they look at is first of all the rating and a close second to the rating is your players potential if you got a player with like 76 rating but his potential is like a D they're gonna equate that to like a 70 rated player with a C or D potential because the computer is always trying to get a better deal than you almost every single time so you gotta understand that rating potential almost go hand in hand the next thing they look at is the amount of stars how valuable to the team it is if a team is missing a small forward like they have no small forwards small forwards are gonna be very valuable to them you know they're, if they had a, if they had actually one small forward like a 60 rated on their team he's gonna have um, more stars than your your third small forward who's like a 70 rating and lastly they look at salary you know they got to make the salaries match up they don't want to be um, way over the cap so you saw that first trade go through for Tyler Hansborough and um, Mahimi so I can use them to make some better trades and honestly I'm trying to get rid of Omar Sheik and Patrick Patterson not because they're bad players at all just because they don't fit the way I like to play I like my bigs to be very defensive um, good rebounding guys and very athletic so I end up getting rid of them for some pretty decent players um, also right after that I traded Chandler Parsons Tyler Hansbro for Trevor Reza and a pretty decent second round pick from the Wizards because you know the second round picks about to be more valuable than my second round pick which is in, uh, in 2014 so I trade a plethora of second round picks that I got, I built up from these teams. That's like a good word right there, plethora. And uh, I trade my four, 2014 first round pick for a Magic's 13 first round pick and a 2014 first round pick for the Magic. Because you know they're about to be weak next year. Really weak without Dwight Howard. So I feel like I made some awesome like you know trades for picks there because I'm trying to get these rookies, you know. What if... Uh, what if in like two years, um, what's his name, a kill cars in the league? I want to pick him up if he's in these drafts that people are making up. That'd be pretty awesome. I feel like he could be better than Nate Robinson. It'd be crazy seeing him in the league if he get all this stuff sorted out with uh, all these charges of, you know, beating his girlfriend or whatever it was. But 
I'm trying to get rid of Tyrus Thomas and Ian Mahimi because y'all know I have him on my Bobcats Association, which I'm probably plan on putting on another channel in the near future. So check out for that. Check or check my channel for that. I'll be posting something on that soon. And like I said, I want to get Aaron Brooks on this team. And I'm excited about getting Jason Thompson too. I feel like he can be a power forward that I really develop on my team. He has a lot of good attributes that I like. He's a great uh, rebounder, great offensive rebounder, and he has that shot. So I feel like he could be a crucial player to this team. And I could get Chuck Hayes as my backup center. Even though, I, I mean, I could trade him for something decent since he has one and a half stars, but he has probably the best steal and probably the best hustle out of any center in the whole league. So Chuck Hayes is a crucial guy to get. And I'm trying to just get rid of these players. You got to get rid of these players that you know will not get any play time on your team. Why have players like that when you got like 14, 15 players on your team when they're just going to rot on the bench and just get their ratings more negative and more negative because they get no play time? I'm not going to put in jo uh, John Brogdon if I'm losing by 15 points or losing by 5 points, even that. Like, I wouldn't even put him in if I'm tied up. And Royce White, I know a lot of people might be ex upset that I'm going to get rid of him, but. I mean, I want to get a more experienced player. I got a couple um, young players on my team that I plan on developing, and I know I won't be developing Royce White like I'm developing Jeremy Lin, like I will be developing um, Jason Thompson, like I'll be developing Jeremy Lamb. These are my three players that I want to develop, get better, and I need to Im improve Kevin Martin because his defense is awful. Straight, straight awful. Like, this will probably be the reason I lose games. So I trade those two guys for Amir Johnson, a decent center with um, some bounce that I like and last I really wanted to or at least the last free agent pick I wanted to pick up was um Chris Anderson Birdman like I love giving my team some flair I've always wanted him to come to Houston you know watching the Nuggets game with Birdman on the floor just makes it so much more exciting you know at least the blocks he gets alley-oops he gets and even when he doesn't even do crazy crazy stuff he's just his hype is crazy and I guess that, that that would motivate a team. I wish I got to see him in the playoffs, but he had that whole scandal. All these players with scandals, man. So utilizing these centers I just picked up, I can get a better center. My options were Tyson Chandler or DeAndre Jordan. But with this um, Knicks-Tyson Chandler trade, they offered me a second-round Knicks pick um, for 2013 for the second-round Wizards pick for 2014. And second-round picks are kind of not really worth much unless you're going to use them to get a first round pick in my opinion at least in this game the players in just in the second round the rookies that people create are weak so i gotta get these first round picks and i'm not going to really do anything with the 2014 second round might as well use a 2013 second round to get a first round right so i pick up tyson chandler the only player besides terrence williams that's gonna that's the same players that i have on the on the bobcats association and in all honesty, I might still get rid of Tyson Chandler just because I don't like having similar players on two different associations. It's just like, it seems kind of cheap, right? You got, you got to see what works. You got to try new things. So you see me pick my top three scores. Kevin Martin, one of the best shooters in the league. Terrence Williams, he's going to drive the lane like crazy. These athletic small fours can dunk on anybody in this game. If you give them a step, they're dunking. Momentum controls it all. And Jeremy Lin. And I just got to change some of these offensive and defensive settings, man. These offensive rebounds that these uh, computer gets on you, it's crazy. I, I I can't deal with it. So everybody has to have their defensive rebounding on box out, which is kind of messed up, you know. And it still doesn't really work, to be honest. And I, I, I like this starting lineup I got, you know. Jeremy Lin, Kevin Martin, uh, Terrence Williams, uh, Jason Thompson, Tyson Chandler. I got Aaron Brooks, Trevor Ariza, Jeremy Lamb on the bench. And... I just want to give like my bench some decent minutes. I like my bench to have a lot of minutes, just so I can like have a spread out number of points across the team, spread out number of assists, and see who actually should be playing more often. You know what I mean? So after everything said and done, I'm pretty happy with the team I have. I might make a few additions. If you saw an addition that I should make, or you just thought of one I should make, hit me up. You know, leave a comment in here uh, in my video and let me know. Let me know if you think I should get rid of Tyson Chan like I like I feel like doing right now. And check Terrence Williams out, man. His alley-oops are, I mean, his alley-oops and dunks are crazy, man. I, I gotta say. And Kevin Martin's defense is weak, but this is your friendly neighborhood commentator, Dread Silver, y'all. And check out my next video. It's gonna be a Houston Rocks Association video. Peace, y'all. Don't hate, I'm
I'm about to start ballin' like I'm coming up a fast break I'm a player, I'm a player, I be working So I'll be the first to never retire my jersey 